In this example, we're going to look at electric potential, specifically how to convert electric field to electric potential. So I give you a setup uh, in the picture here. I have two points, A and B. A is located at the origin. B is located at 2 comma 1 uh, units are in meters. And I have an electric field given by 10 newtons per coulomb in the x hat direction. And I say, given the field below, what is the change in electric potential between points A and B? So in this case, we're taking a path from A to B. B is our final point, A is the initial point. But path does not actually matter in this case since we have a non-curling field. Now what that means is, in this class, as long as your field is not spinning around and around, you can choose any path you want and you'll get the same answer. Now the moment your field does start spinning around and around, you cannot choose any path you want because you will get different answers. Um, you'll learn about that a little bit more in advanced courses in electricity and magnetism. But in this case, path doesn't matter. So we're going to, instead of using the red path, we're going to use a combination of the purple and green to make the math easier. So I write out that change in voltage is minus the path integral of e dot dl. I'm going to split my path up into two pieces as I said before. I have the purple path along x and the green path along y. I'm going to plug in the values. E is 10 newtons per coulomb in the x hat. I plug that into both expressions. And dl along the x direction is just dx in the x hat. DL along the Y direction is just DY in the Y hat. I notice that the X hat dot Y hat in the second expression cancels out. X hat dot Y hat is zero. And so I'm just left with 10 DX integrated from zero to two. And so when I do that integration, I simply get minus 20 volts. So a few final thoughts. First, if we have a non-curling field, we can choose any path that connects the two endpoints. Now in this class, if we ever give you a problem like this, where we ask you to calculate the change in voltage, you will not have to worry about curling fields and paths. You can take the simplest path possible and you can calculate your answer. However, in the future, just know that uh, the path you choose does matter and in advanced courses you'll see that you do need to be very careful about which path you choose. Second off, be careful with the negative signs. Uh, you'll notice that the answer I got was negative 20 volts because B is at a lower voltage than A. And finally, repeat this calculation with a different path and make sure that it works out to the same answer. 